college transportation. More importantly, if you have college transportation. It's important, and we use it all the time. While on campus, the majority of people walk to class, but to get off campus, many students use their cars from home. Along with personal cars, there are many other options to use. The town of Ithaca provides a TCAT bus. Other services include Uber and Lyft, which are both ride-sharing services, along with your normal taxis. I wanted to see what students use and what they thought about each service, so I interviewed a wide uh, variety to Howard. get a good scope. I am from Ithaca, New York. I'm a sports media major, and this is my first year here. Okay. Uh, I'm Paul Brecht. I'm from Grad, New York. I'm a freshman, and I'm a sports media major. My name is Daniel Metzl. I'm a sophomore. Um, I'm from Australia, though, exchange, foreigner, and um, I study uh, physical therapy. Yes. Uh, so, my name is Nicholas Delamore. I'm a junior speech science pathology and audiology major with a minor in music. Uh, I am from Long Island. What transportation do you use to get around? Um, so I brought a car on campus, mm -hmm. and it helps me go from home and back, because I live probably about 35 minutes away from here, mm -hmm. and it gives me the opportunity to go home on weekends if I really need to, and uh, it just gives me that emergency vehicle mm -hmm. if I want to go somewhere. Uh, mostly I walk. But other than that, I have my bike here on campus, mm -hmm. and then I also have a car. So, but I usually, in terms of getting around on campus, I mostly just bike and walk. I really use walking the most, uh -huh. uh, being a university student. Yeah. Any dollar saved is a dollar in your pocket, so <laughs> yeah. that's the main one. But uh -huh. um, I do I have used uh, quite a bit uh, the, the TCAT, the bus, uh -huh. as well as um, Uber from time to time, depending and on, yeah. Transportation on Ithaca, you think is the most important? What do you think is the most used? Oh, TCAT. TCAT. Uh, because kids go out to like Moonies and drink, uh -huh. and that's a way for them to get home safe, get home safe. And cheap, and mm -hmm. it takes you right back here. So not a lot of students do have cars on campus, and it really gives them the opportunity to safely get from campus to a place, say downtown, and back safely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's it's convenient, mm -hmm. and. It is widespread, like I said before, it takes you all over. Mm -hmm. I think because we are a community and we also have a city, uh -huh. we have a significant city, the city of Ithaca, like right there. Mm -hmm. So it's just far enough that it's not the best distance to walk, but it's close enough that you can get there quick. So it's good to find a really like easy, cost efficient way to get from here to there. With their opinions in mind, I asked the students what they thought could be improved with transportation on campus and throughout Ithaca. In terms of the cost, I don't think it's, it's too bad the cost. I, I, I can see that that is fine. Uh -huh. um, I would, my main suggestion would be more frequently okay. uh, and particularly more information about it because if you want to find out when the, the buses are actually running, you got to do your own digging, you got to do your own research to get an application up to, to look online. I'd like to see that there's actual little bus shelters where there's the posted, you know, schedule. This bus comes now, this bus comes now, this bus. I think that could be really useful, um, especially for freshmen, as you say. Mm -hmm. Something they could implement is if when you swiped, you almost could, if you would, if you had two options. One, maybe you, you could buy like a season pass for the TCAT, so you could pay X amount of money in the beginning of the year. But also, more importantly, I think it'd be cool if they started, I don't know if this is possible, like a membership of some sort. So like there's an incentive to take it. So if you okay. take it a lot, they recognize that and they'll give you discounts every like $50 or something. Uh, right. If that'd be easy to track, I think it'd be a good idea. If they, like, incentivize After them. hearing fellow student opinions, I wanted to hear from the people who provide the transportation. I decided to interview a driver from a ride sharing service. This is Matt. Matt is a local Ithacan who, outside of his normal job, drives for both Uber and Lyft. He let me ask some questions about his experience as a driver in Obviously, Ithaca. you probably give a lot of college students rides. Um, what, what improvements do you think Ithaca College can make to make your job easier and more kind of fluid? Is there anything they could do on campus, whether change something up or, um, yeah, just any improvements that can be I mean, Ithaca campus is an easy one. Their, their uh, site plans for roadways is let's just say uh, 
lack thereof efficient or being mm -hmm. efficient um, a, a lot of your dense populations that they have on on campus uh, only have one way direction they can go um, and so even that there's uh, the towers area for example where you have a section of land that can be easily developed into an additional roadway mm -hmm. to go the other direction and that would cut their traffic in half mm -hmm. uh, to go on the west side of campus rather than just everyone going on the, the east the southeast direction mm -hmm. and then what improvements do you think students could make to make your job easier have you had any bad experiences or or has it been okay um the, the biggest confusion i get with the with the students is location of the vehicle i think they're in the right spot which they they might be but the software is showing them being somewhere else so it's either user interface training or them understanding how to use the app more efficiently or more effectively so we know where they are they know where we are or it could be a software change uh from the uber software people to make sure that they know where we are exactly um, to eliminate any confusion of them having to walk in the cold or, uh -huh. or go long distances. Okay. Awesome. Other than that, it's pretty... The TCAP bus is one of the most common forms of transportation that students use to get off campus. They provide buses that run about twice every hour that stop at different locations on the campus. It is one of the most cost-effective ways to travel, with each ride being only $1.50. I was able to talk to a representative from the bus service about what they offer Hi, and why Hunky. they are so important to Ithaca. Oh, hey. Hey, how are you? I'm going to put you on speaker. I have our service analyst with, with me right now. Awesome. I'm going to put you on speaker, okay? Okay, thank you so much. The aspects to why it's, it's great mm -hmm. is to provide service to your campus as well as the other campuses. Mm -hmm. Less expensive uh, to use, um, you know, and again, go back to the sustainability uh, you can get more people on a bus than you can in a taxi or a Lyft or an Uber. Mm. Uh, I think Uber and, and Lyft, from what I understand, is it's still pretty pricey, uh, particularly on the weekends. Uh, so, um, again, you know, a, a bus is still the most sustainable, you know, sustainable choice and the most affordable choice. And, and it's, uh, I mean, there's, not really a one or the other kind of choice. So you've got a reasonable mix. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, for sure. What you're typically expect to do is you use the thing that you can afford that will get you there when you need to get there. So when you're in a hurry, you may need to go to Uber or a taxi. And when you have some time, you're going to save some money and take the bus. And you got no money and lots of time, then you'll walk. While there are many forms of transportation on campus, what you use really depends on what your needs are. If you want flexibility and are willing to pay the fees up front, you can bring a car. If you want that same flexibility but don't own a car, you can use Uber or Lyft. If you're good at planning in advance and want to save money, use a TCAT or walk everywhere. In the end, it's really just up to you.